Showtime. Welcome everybody. I'm uh, super excited to be here. Back in Romania, my first time in Cluj. So uh, I hope this will be a festival to remember. I know it's the first time uh, that the festival is here and I really can't believe that there's so many people already yesterday and tomorrow. So uh, it's crazy, you know. I'm uh, just really thankful to be here again. So let's start. Any burning questions? Uh, what is it about DJing that makes it so interesting for you? Uh, the main challenges as a DJ are, of course, the traveling, uh, the jet lags, being away from my family, which sucks because I have uh, two young children. You know, my daughter just turned four and my son just turned two. Uh, and I do less gigs than I used to. So I used to do 150 gigs per year, and now I only do 100. And I want to slow down a little bit more so I can also be more in the studio, make more music. And, but I still want to be with my fans. You know, Romania has always been a really good country for me. A lot of uh, love for the trans here in Transylvania, and uh, you know, so the Romanian crowd is very important. So I try to balance carefully. It's like uh, it's a military operation with my schedule and everything. So, uh, but it's great. You know, I work with a really great team of people around me. I mean, I'm the only guy sitting here, but this whole table will be full with all the people that work with me and for me. Of course, people at Armada, DOP, Cloud9 Music, 250K. You know, so many people are involved in my day-to-day -day business, so this, is, this helps a lot. And sorry, your second question was? Um, what about your new album? Success. No disrespect to any DJs that do, but uh, you know, I'm a little bit of an old school DJ. I like to look at the crowd and then decide where I go with my set. So, uh, so sometimes it means I play a little bit more uplifting, sometimes I play a little bit more uh, progressive, you know, it depends on the crowd. Yeah, I'm super excited. I think I'm 97% done now with my album. So, uh, yeah, I hope to drop that in the fall. And the first single is doing really well. It's, uh, so, I'm super excited. And uh, finally, going to producers. First of all, your quickest way to the top is to make music. It sounds really strange. If you want to play music, you have to make music. But this is the truth, you know. Your, your quickest way to the top is if other DJs start playing your music. This is the best, the best way. And second, I think it's really important that you do it with your heart because, you know, the crowd is not stupid. They can see if something is real and if you really do it with passion and with fun. Uh, if you try to copy another DJ or you're just in the DJ scene to be in private jets or expect to make a lot of money, then you won't make it very far. It's, it, I always try to explain to young artists that it's really important to be a unique character and to find your own sound and, you know, to, learn, to keep learning things. You'll, you'll be surprised after 20 years of record production how much stuff I'm still learning to do. You know, uh, for example, when I was working with Mr. Props on my single Another You, I was recording uh, real strings in the Visselor Studios, and I've never been there. It's the most expensive studios in the Netherlands. And I told Mr. Props, if we want to do the single, then I want the strings that we had coming from the uh, keyboard, I want the strings to be live. So we went to the studio, and uh, I had this string orchestra, and they were playing, but I wasn't feeling what they were playing. So I went into the recording studio, and I said, dun, dun, and then all of a sudden I was <laughs> conducting an orchestra, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I, this is what I like about my job, is that I never conducted an orchestra. I'm not a, a, a conductor, you know, I'm not like that, but I, I learn every day. This is very important. I think it goes for, for everything in life. It doesn't matter if you're a DJ or a uh, work in the school or if you're uh, working in the government, whatever, it's always important to keep learning. You know, you have, you have to stay hungry for information, you have to stay hungry for development, you have to discover yourself and to discover new things. 